Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for the men's matchup now as they host uh, Richard Bland, Statesman. Statesman coming into this game. 12 and 14 overall, seven and six in conference play, but they have won two straight as they try to come in here and upset the Cape Fear Sea Devils. Cape Fear, looking at their record, 14 and 10 overall, eight and seven in conference play. They have lost two straight, so they're trying to snap that losing streak as they try to turn it around here in the second half of the season. But really here in this last regular season game of this season, as they will try their best to at least win one on their way into Region 10 tournament time. As we look at their team overall, head coach Andrew Lacey, leads the Statesman as that tip is won by Cape Fear. Corey Richardson will grab it as we are underway. Starters for the Sea Devils, Corey Richardson, Noah Carver, Khalil Marshall, Daniel Lumbamba, and Avion Pinner. As Cape Fear celebrated their sophomores here tonight, as that pass is lost out of bounds, that turnover will get charged to Daniel Lumbamba. Overall, Cape Fear, as mentioned, they've lost two straight, so they're gonna try to get back in the win column here as they head to Region 10 tournament time. Richardson with the steal. Richardson's fouled after the steal. Good defense by Cape Fear. On the bench for the Statesman. That shot is missed by Carver. Richard Bland with the rebound, they'll have possession. With it, drive, floater, no good. Rebound Khalil Marshall. That shot was up and no good by Larry Howell. Carver drives baseline, kicks it out to Richardson. They swing it, Marshall with it. Marshall drives, floater, hangs, gets it. As Khalil Marshall has the stadium full here tonight as a good amount of his family has made the trip here locally over to the Schwartz Center to support their family member, Khalil Marshall, who is a local standout, went to New Hanover High School here locally in Wilmington, North Carolina and has a good amount of his family in the crowd here tonight. Good drive and finish there by Jalen Smith. Ties the game at two here early in the first half. Double team comes. Richardson finds a wide open Noah Carver. Carver with it, he'll drive. Pump fake kicks it back out to Richardson. They'll reset the offense. Pinner with it, one-handed, excuse me, one-footed step back, no good. Loose ball out of bounds. Possession will go to Richard Bland. Starters for Richard Bland, my apologies. Ibrahim Koruma, Koroma, excuse me, Martin Kawa, Jalen Smith, Larry Howell, and Tim Robinson. Statesman of Richard Bland, actually an affiliate college, junior college of William and Mary. And that three is good from Ibrahim Koroma. Marshall drives, gets around his defender. Floater, too high off the glass, no good. Loose ball, out of bounds. Possession will stay with Cape Fear. Cape Fear basketball inbound goes to Pinner. Pinner gives it up to Marshall. Screen, Richardson looks to drive. Guarded by Kawa. 
Jumper no good, loose ball, tipped around, rebounded by Tim Robinson, Richard Bland basketball. Five two, Sea Devils early deficit and another bucket, that one from Larry Howe. As Cape Fear down seven two early here in the first half. Just over three minutes expired here in the first half. That pass over on the sideline to Noah Carver. Draws the foul. Fouls on Larry Howell, his first foul of the game. Shot clock at 25 seconds. Inbound goes to Corey Richardson. Richardson with it. He's guarded by Coroma. Marshall almost loses it. They swing it. Richardson on the right wing now. Looks like Richard Bland's gonna run a little switch defense here. Try to throw Cape Fear off that turnover. Out of bounds off of Corey Richardson. Possession to the Statesman. Kawa with it, gives it up. Drive by Howell. And he's fouled on the drive. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul called on Noah Carver. Howell at the line, he'll shoot two. Cape Fear down, 7-2, early in the first half. Free throw, no good. Loose ball, Carver gets it. Able to hit the deck and get that loose ball. Drive by Marshall, called for the offensive foul. That's three turnovers here through the first four minutes, just under four minutes of this first half. Cape Fear off to a sluggish start offensively. Cross court pass. And head coach Mark Lane has a point there. Looked like that pass was caught with one foot on either side of the half court line, but no call. Drive, finish, no good, loose ball, snatched up by Richardson, good outlet to Noah Carver, and Carver will finish. Carver's first bucket of the game. Four points here for Cape Fear, 7-4, Cape Fear down. Richardson, good defense there, able to follow that screen and roll from Tim Robinson, who was cutting into the paint. Had an open lane, but Richardson able to get his hand in there and deflect it out of bounds. Possession will stay with Richard Bland. Pinner, will get credit for that steal, but he gives it right back to Richard Bland. Marshall with the steal. Pinner is hurt as he hits the deck hard. Hopefully Avion Pinner's all right. He's a key player for the Sea Devils. They cannot afford to lose him. As Pinner will try to walk it off as Athletic trainer Scott Gilkoff at the ready here on the sideline. That foul was called on Tim Robinson. Pinner misses the first free throw. A 
as head coach Andrew Lacey for the Statesman has a little conversation with one of the officials, Derek Gaudio. Second free throw, good. My apologies, quick break in the action, had to clarify something there. My apologies. Sea Devils turned it over there though, and Marshall with a deep three, step back, air ball, no good. Rebound, Statesman. Cape Fear starting cold here from the field offensively. Here's Jalen Jefferson will look to come in, the next dead ball. Carver with it, drives, and finishes. Noah Carver takes it coast to coast off the steal and finishes the bucket. Good defense and finish there by Noah Carver. Too strong on the finger roll, Lubamba with the rebound. Marshall drives, draws the contact, can't finish, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. Should have a media timeout here pretty quick. Media timeout, so we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. More half, first half action here live from the short side. Leo Marshall at the line to shoot two. Sea Devils down two, nine to seven. Richard Bland leads. First free throw from Marshall is good. Couple substitutions at that last dead ball for Cape Fear checking in Moses Tufts and Truman Clater. Second free throw no good from Marshall. Substitution on the other end as well. Looked like checking in for the first time. Cahill Venables checks in for Richard Bland. Robinson with it. Double team comes, then they leave. Rebound Corey Richardson. Is Robinson a little too strong? On the shot, Sea Devils swing it, corner, Marshall, three. Substitution for Cape here. Jalen Jefferson will check in for Khalil Marshall. Cape Fear down one, nine to eight. Looks like Larry Howell will check back into this game for the Statesman, he comes in for Jalen Smith. Corey Richardson will inbound. Good defense there by Larry Howell. 
tips it out of bounds. Possession will stay with Cape Fear, 19 on the shot clock. Tufts can't finish, but Lubamba there for the offensive rebound and put back his first bucket of the game. Moses Tufts, a little bit of an acrobatic opportunity there on the 360 spin and blown her no good, but there to clean it up and finish is Daniel Lubamba. Corey Richardson. Almost able to steal that away, but goes out of bounds. Out of bounds off the Sea Devils. His head coach Mark Lane says he thought he saw a foul, and the official. Gaudio told him no foul, no foul. That turnover there by Richard Bland. Three fouls. Pinner with it on the corner. Pinner, nice find, finds Tufts, can't finish. Gets his own rebound, goes up again, can't finish. Two opportunities there for Moses Tufts, unable to finish either. Two timeout by head coach Andrew Lacey. Sea Devils up 10-9, we'll take a quick break. Coach's timeout by Richard Bland. Statesman's basketball out of that timeout by head coach Lacey. 11.50 to go here in the first half. Martin Kawa with it. Gives it up to Howell. Howell gives it back to Kawa. Moses Tufts steps in front of the passing lane there, out of bounds. Possession will stay with the Statesman. Stolen away by Marshall. Aaron pass there by Venable. Marshall hangs and finishes. Good finish from Khalil Marshall as he showcases that athleticism. As that young man plays hard on both ends of the court. I know head coach Mark Lane would like him to be a little more aggressive on the offensive end. As he shows you right there why head coach Mark Lane wants him to be a little more aggressive on the offensive end. Jalen Jefferson checked in at that last dead ball for Cape Fear. A couple substitutions for Richard Bland as well. It looks like Ibrahim Karuma, Karuma checked back in. Out of bounds, possession will stay with Cape Fear as Truman Clater checked in for Cape Fear at that last dead ball as well. On the, on the court for Cape Fear, Jalen Jefferson, Truman Clater, Khalil Marshall, Avion Pinner, 
and Moses Tufts. Clater, a lot of contact, no foul, unable to hit it. Marshall called for the foul. Second foul on Khalil Marshall. 10.40 to go here in the first half. Venables with it, guarded by Jefferson, gets around him, kicks it out. Three on the way, no good, but an offensive rebound and put back by Larry Howe. Jalen Jefferson will bring it up for K. Fear. Swings it on the right wing to Clater. Clater back to Jefferson on the left wing. Jefferson will look to drive. Good defense by Karuma. Marshall pull up, jumper good. Khalil Marshall heating up on the offensive end. Seven points here through the first 10 minutes of the first half. Venables with it, kicks it top of the key to Howe. Howe looking to get it in the paint. Foul on Truman Clater. Clater will check out. Noah Carver will check back in. Inbound. Checking in on that last dead ball a little bit ago. Good defense by Khalil Marshall. Another turnover. That's eight turnovers by the Statesman here in the first half. Defense by Marshall. On the court for the Statesman, number two, Ibrahim Koruma. Number 21, Rodney Wills Jr. Willis Jr., excuse me. Number three, Martin Kawa. Number 10, Jason Howell. Fuck it is good, Noah Carver. Also on the court, Cahill Venable. Just the five for the Statesman. Bringing it up is Kawa, gives it up. They swing it, Venable with it. Tries to find a cutting Jason Howell in the paint. Tipped out of bounds. No one really in foul trouble thus far here for Cape Fear. Khalil Marshall does have two. Just like Jalen Smith and Larry Howell, two fouls apiece for the Statesman. Willis Jr. with it, gives it up to Venable. Venable with it, he'll pull up. His jumper, mid-range, no good. Nice tip to himself by Howell, who finds an open teammate. And Kawa banks in the three. Back and forth game, Cape Fear up two. Clater gets it out to Carver. Carver thought about the three, gives it up to Pinner. Out to Clater, he's open. Corner three is good. Give the assist to Avion Pinner as Truman Clater gets on the board with his first made bucket of the game. Howell, dribble hand off to Kawa, top of the key. Out in the corner three, Venable, no good. Rebound Jalen Jefferson. Jefferson will try to push the pace. Shot attempt, no good from Jefferson. Loose ball, Howell picks up his dribble, he's stuck now. Gives it up though to Karuma. Three on the way, no good from Kawa. Long rebound to Pinner. Pinner's gonna push it. Up to Clater. Clater can't finish. Hot hands there. That alley oop was a little out of the way. And the drive and finish by Kawa. That'll cut the deficit to three with a chance to cut that deficit even more. Sea Devils up three, 7.34 to go here in the first half.
Kawa hits the free throw. Cuts the deficit to two. Sea Devils up 19-17, 7.30 to go here in the first half. Richardson will bring it up on the court for Cape Fear. Corey Richardson, Truman Clater, Avion Pinner, Noah Carver, and Jalen Jefferson. Carver thought about the three. Clater drives. Pulls up, no good, loose ball, scooped up by Pinner. He can't finish, but gets another offensive rebound. Can't finish that one. Pinner 0 for 3 to start this game, as well as Truman Clater. Cape Fear cold offensively here to start this game. Only Khalil Marshall and Noah Carver with made field goals here to start this game for Cape Fear. Drive. Loose ball out of bounds. Possession will stay with Richard Bland. Looks like a couple of the officials will talk about it. They change it. Sea Devils basketball and another turnover as we'll go to immediate timeout. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back with the final 634 of the first half. Richardson will bring it up for Cape Fear. 6.25 to go in the first half. Richardson, Avion Pinner loses it. Wanted a foul, but no call as Truman Clater chases down that block from behind. Truman Clater, like he might have hit his head on the rim there as several guys fell and hit the deck after that block. Several Statesman players tripped over themselves. Karuma gives it up to Venable. Venable, fouled by Jefferson, trying to reach around and poke it free. Jefferson, his second foul. 6.07 to go here in the first half. Sea Devils up to 19-17. They've started this game cold, four of 20 to start this game, but up two, deep three, no good, loose ball. Later had a chance at a rebound, thought it was going out of bounds, but ends up in the hands of Martin Kawa. Gives the Statesman another possession. Entry pass into the paint, good pass, rejected by Clater again. Richardson finds Clater on the drive and finish. Good play there by Corey Richardson. Able to find the cutting Truman Clater who hits his first field goal of the game. Venable with it now, guarded by Clater. Entry pass into the paint. Up and the bucket is good by Larry Howell. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three point play. Corey 
Corey Richardson called for the foul, his first foul of the game. Powell, bucket, hits the free throw, cuts the deficit to one. Back and forth game here in the first half. Sea Devils have led over the last six plus minutes of this game, but the Statesman got off to an early lead and it's been close ever since. Carver, baseline pass to Richardson. Right wing to Tufts, gives it up to Clayton. Turnaround jumper in and out, no good, but Tufts there for the putback. Moses Tufts continues to be an animal on the offensive rebound. Later, starting this game one, or one for five from the field. Dribble handoff to Karuma. His three, no good, bounces around. Offensive rebound. Venable gets it, kicks it out to Kawa. Kawa back to Venable, baseline. Kawa. Venable throws it away, stolen away by Clater. Out to Carver, open, three, no good. Noah Carver. Drive, can't finish. Rebound rejected by Tufts. Richardson kicks it out to Carver. Carver drives baseline, goes hard at it, and gets the bucket. Carver, four of five, start this game from the field. That bucket is good. That three from Howell. Carver thought about the three. Gives it back to Richardson. Richardson on the right wing, drives. Kicks it out to Tufts, Tufts for three. No good, Lubamba there for the offensive putback. Daniel Lubamba there to clean it up with the offensive rebound and the putback. He's a perfect two for two to start this game. Powell with it, almost lost the handle. Guarded by Lubamba. Kicks it out to Kawa. Kawa out to Venable. Venable drives, pull up, baseline jumper, no good. Rebound Moses Tufts. Richardson with it. Offensive foul called on Corey Richardson. Ball against number three, Richardson. That's his second. Second foul on Corey Richardson. Substitution for Richard Bland. Checking back in will be Jalen Smith for the Statesman. Sea Devils up 27 23, 235 to go here in the first half. Kawa with it. Kicks it out to Howell. Howell in the right wing. Now in the right corner. Entry pass into the paint to Smith. Smith with it. Floater. Good. Goes right at Carver and finishes. Avion Pinner called for the foul. That's his first foul. Jalen Jefferson will get the inbound. Free throws good. One point deficit. Sea Devils up 27 26. Just over two minutes to go in the first half. Jefferson back to Lubamba. Off the hands of Lubamba. Out of bounds. Turnover. Cape Fear. Unforced turnovers. Got to do better if you're the Sea Devils. Oh, 
Aruma has it stolen. Mubamba with the steal. Jefferson can't finish. Loose ball. Who's going to get it? Noah Carver will get the offensive rebound. Carver drives, floater, no good. Loose ball, snatched up by the Statesman. Carver just his second miss of the first half. Jalen Smith with it on the right wing. Guarded by Avion Pinner, picks up his dribble. Gives it up, Statesman swing it. Jalen Smith with it now, double team comes, leaves, and then Kawa is wide open. A little miscommunication there by Cape Fear. Offensive rebound chased down by Jalen Smith, and that'll be an offensive foul on Smith. Runs right over Moses Tufts. Third foul on Jalen Smith already, and he may have to go to the bench as he does. On the court for the Statesman, number three, Martin Kawa, number 23, Tim Robinson, number 21, Rodney Willis Jr., number two, Ibrahim Karuma, and number 10, Larry Howe. Carver with it, gets a screen from Pinner. Kicks it back to Pinner, pump fake, drive, flush. Avion Pinner gets around Willis pretty easily there. Able to flush it with one hand. Richard Bland with it. About a four second difference in shot clock and game clock, under 20 on the game clock. Willis Jr. has it tipped away. Three on the way, air ball, no good, but a rebound by Tim Robinson, and he cannot finish, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. As Avion Pinner called for the foul. A few players with two fouls apiece. Marshall with two, Pinner with two, Corey Richardson with two. Along with Jalen Jefferson, two fouls apiece for all those players just named. Looks like Pinner may come out. That first free throw is good from Robinson. 10.6 seconds to go in the first half. On the court for Richard Bland. Ibrahim Karuma. Cahil Venable. And Clater steps out of bounds. Turnover Sea Devils. Now our Richard Bland have a chance to take the last shot of the first half down to 29-27. Inbound goes to Karuma. Karuma with it. Pulls up. Blocked by Tufts. Karuma That's thought he'd create a little more room on the step back there, but unable to do so. That'll do it for the first half. Sea Devils up 29 27. We'll take a first half break. And we'll be back after a break here in the first half. Sea Devils up 29 27.
tie game at 29 to start the second half. Richard Bland comes out with the first bucket. To start things off. 29 all. And the turnover for the Sea Devils on their first possession of the second half. Looking at some numbers in the first half. Leading score for the Statesmen. 10 points from Larry Howell. 8 points from Martin Kawa. On the Sea Devils side. 8 points from Noah Carver. 9 points from Khalil Marshall. 3 from Kawa. No good. Offensive rebound. Sea Devils. Got to do a better job limiting the Statesmen to one and done on the offensive side and another good offensive possession there for the Statesman. Finished by Tim Robinson gives the Statesman their first lead since early in the first half. Back to the Sea Devil side as mentioned, Khalil Marshall leads Cape Fear with the nine points. Noah Carver with eight. And a turnover by Cape Fear and another finish on the other end. Quick 6-0 run here for the Statesman to start the second half. Marshall for three, no good. Some of the body language you're starting to see out of the Sea Devils here, not what head coach Mark Lane wants to see from his guys. Corner three, good, excuse me. Wing side three there from Ibrahim Karuma. And a 9-0 run here to start the second half. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with more second half action. Sea Devils basketball out of the timeout by head coach Mark Lane. Almost another turnover by the Sea Devils, but Lubamba able to chase it down. Shot attempt, no good from Richardson. Richardson has been ice cold on offense to start this game. And another offensive rebound from Tim Robinson. Richardson will bring it up over half court. Hands it off to Khalil Marshall. Marshall with it. Kicks it out to Carver. Carver with it. Pump fake. Floater too soft, but an offensive rebound by Richardson, and he'll get the putback for his first bucket of the game. Carver just a little soft on the floater in the paint, but Corey Richardson there to clean it up and get the putback. Pull up, banks it in. Ibrahim Karuma continues to shoot the ball well. Full court pass, Pinner able to save it from going out of bounds. They end up swinging it. Richardson, top of the key, finds Lubamba for three. No good. Rebound Karuma and a jump ball. Possession will stay with Cape Fear. Richard Bland, 11 turnovers in that first half. Started this second half clean over the first three and a half minutes. No turnovers yet here in the second half. Carver with it on the right wing. 
Looks to drive, gets around his defender, kicks it out to Pinner. Pinner not ready for it, a little out of his reach. Turnover, Sea Devils. Twelve turnovers now for Cape Fear. With over 16 minutes to play in the second half. Jalen Smith with it, guarded by Richardson. And he slips. Might have to clean that up. Let's see if they try to clean up that wet spot. It's not. Guess it wasn't too wet. Richardson finds Pinner, pump fake. Tries to find Clater, but it ends up in the hands of Marshall. Marshall back to Richardson. Richardson drives. Tries to kick it out to Carver, and that's stolen away. Another turnover by Cape Fear here in the second half. Not a good start to this second half for the Sea Devils. Down nine. Thirteen two run here by Richard Bland to start the second half. Rejected by Clater, but Smith gets it back. He'll go up again, rejected by Clater again. Back to back blocks by Truman Clater. Good defensive possession there by Cape Fear. Carver loses it, call a timeout. Does get the timeout called. Good decision there by Noah Carver to maintain possession and not turn it over in the backcourt. Pride give Richard Bland an easy bucket. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. Second half action. Sea Devils basketball out of the timeout. Karuma picking up Corey Richardson about three quarters of the way down the court. Tufts with it. Looks to drive, backs back out, finds Carver baseline. Carver not aware of the shot clock. And that'll be a shot clock violation for Cape Fear. Another turnover here in the second half for Cape Fear down nine with under 15 minutes to go. Powell with it. Richardson with the steal. Finds Carver on the assist from Richardson. That'll snap that score drought. Noah Carver now five of eight from the field. Floater. No good, Tufts with the block, but right in the hands of Howe. Cape Fear. As Khalil Marshall gets the bank to go. Good shot there from Khalil Marshall. Fifteen to six run to start this second half for Marshall called for the foul there. That'll be his third. Third foul on Khalil Marshall. Hey, 
13.53 to go. Powell with it. Just outside the low block, trying to back down Tufts, goes right at him. Free throw line, pulls up. Fading away to his left, air ball out of bounds. That'll lead to immediate timeout. 13.39 in the second half. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. More second half action here live from the Schwartz Center. Sea Devils basketball, 13.35 to go in the second half. Sea Devils down seven. Clater finds Tufts, pump fake, baseline open. Gets around his defender and finishes through the contact. Big bucket there for Cape Fear. Stops the bleeding a little bit. Still down five. Kuruma out to Kawa. Pump fake, gets Clater in the air. Wide open three, no good. Clater with the rebound. Richardson with it. Head coach Mark Lane wants him to run. Corner three from Carver. Got it. Give the assist to Corey Richardson as Noah Carver continues to heat up. As he is now over the last couple months of the season has now jumped to the lead. Averaging points per game for Cape Fear averaging over 14 a game now is Nova Car Noah Carver, excuse me. Just a right around a half point more than Truman Clater's 14.3. Carver averaging 14.7. That'll be a travel. Just the second turnover of the second half for the Statesman. Sea Devils down two, 42-40, 12-30 to go here in the second half. Moses Tufts with the top of the key, gives it up to Marshall on the right wing. Marshall drives, gets around his defender, hangs, floater, in. So Leo Marshall, maybe his time now as he continues to shoot the ball extremely well from the field. And a foul called there on Truman Clater, not a lot of contact there, but foul on Truman Clater. Powell wide open, three, in and out. Loose ball, another offensive rebound by the Statesman. Tufts with the block and controls it off the block, able to snatch it after he rejects it. And a good defensive play there from Moses Tufts. Marshall with it, looking to drive, kicks it out to Clater. Deep three from Truman Clater, no good. Off the side iron. 
Truman Clater, a little cold from the field. He's one of two from three, one of five from two. Kawa with it. Drives on Tufts. Floater, hang, no good. Rebound, Richardson throws it up to Clater. Clater with the bucket. Corey Richardson with another beautiful pass over the top to Clater. Knows what to do with it. That'll give Cape Fear back the lead up 44-42. After that 15-6 run through the first six minutes of the second half. Cape Fear now back up. Two, 44, 42, two point lead as it was at the half. Basketball's a game of runs indeed as Cape Fear answered the run from Richard Bland with a run of their own. Powell, pull up, short, off the front iron, rebound Daniel Lumbamba. Marshall, as Clater steps out of bounds. Truman Clater with the turnover, just his second turnover of the game. Turnover starting to add up for the Sea Devils. Karuma with it. Ibrahim Karuma. Kicks it out, Smith, they swing it. Kawa with it. Kicks it towards the top of the key to Howell. Howell, dribble hand off to Kawa. Kawa looks to drive, guarded by Jalen Jefferson. Jefferson able to stay in front of him. Gives it up to Howell. Baseline jumper, no good. Loose ball. And another offensive rebound by the Statesman. Another possession, 14 on the shot clock. Thought about a step back three, kicks it out to Kawa. Back to Karuma, deep three, no good. Tipped around, Pinner with the rebound. Clater with it, drives. Gets in the paint, kicks it out of the left corner to Pinner. Pinner finds Lubamba. And an offensive foul called on Avion Pinner. It's Avion Pinner's third foul. Sea Devils, a little half court pressure there. Richard Bland able to get through it. Pull up, jumper, good. Martin Kawa hits the jumper to tie it at 44. Timeout by head coach Andrew Lacey of the Statesman. That'll be a break in the action on the timeout. We'll be right back with the final 9.02 of the second half. Regular season finale here for the Sea Devils. Tie game, 44 apiece. Sea Devils basketball, Jalen Jefferson will bring it up. Marshall drives, floater, good. Marshall now six of seven from the field. 
team high 13 points for Clear Marshall. Tied for the team high with Noah Carver, 13 apiece for those two. A little bit of ball pressure. Jalen Jefferson rotates too late, picks up the foul, plus the bucket by Kawa. Third foul on Jalen Jefferson, and that'll tie the game back at 46. Chance to take the lead again, and free throw is good from Martin Kawa. Tim Robinson checks back in for the Statesman. Corey Richardson will check in for Khalil Marshall for Cape Fear. Richardson will bring it up, gets over half court. Double screen set. Richardson had to pick up his dribble but finds Pinner. Pinner out to Jefferson, pump fake, drives, floater. And one opportunity for Jalen Jefferson. The lefty threw that up with his right hand and gets it to fall. His first bucket of the game for Jalen Jefferson. Big bucket there for Cape Fear. Gives Cape Fear a one point lead with a chance to go up one possession. Free throw is good from Jefferson. Sea Devils up two. 49-47, back and forth, second half now. Just over eight minutes to go. Howell with the drive, kicks it out. Ibrahim Karuma thought about a three there, but gives it up to Kawa. Kawa to Howell, Howell back to Kawa at the top of the key. Karuma guarded by Jefferson. Pulls up, mid-range jumper, no good. Rebound, Daniel Lubamba. A solid rebound there from Lubamba. Richardson finds Clater. Clater will pull up. Mid-range jumper is good from Truman Clater. Head coach Andrew Lacey giving some guidance there to Karuma, telling him not to fade away. Just rise and shoot. Talented jump shot he has. They're going to need him to hit some buckets here down the stretch, down four, as Cape Fear is going on a run of their own. As Truman Clater almost comes up with a steal there. It goes out of bounds, though. Possession will stay with the Statesman. 7.20 to go. 17 seconds left on the shot clock. Stays Richard Bland possession. Inbound, Jalen Smith. Smith with it. Guarded by Lubamba, double team comes. Kicks it out to Howell. Howell swings it, right wing. Out in the corner, Karuma for three. No good. Offensive rebound and a put back by Tim Robinson. Richard Bland has done a good job offensive rebounds as Pinner unable to hit the reverse. And a steal there by Jalen Jefferson, and he'll finish. And a timeout called by head coach Andrew Lacey. Fifteen turnovers now for the Statesmen. We'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back with the final 649 after this quick break. Full timeout called by Cage Beer.
And Karuma hits the three out of the timeout. Down one. Richardson tries to throw the oop to Avion Pinner out of bounds. Turnover Cape Fear. For Richardson, that's his fourth turnover of the game. Cape Fear up one, 53-52, 6.30 to go. Back and forth game here in the second half. Richardson tries to steal, gambles. Kawa gets around him. And a good play there by Jalen Jefferson. Grabbed that rebound as he was going out of bounds and throws it off a statesman player. Possession to Cape Fear as Khalil Marshall will check in for Daniel Lumbamba. Marshall three fouls. He'll have to be careful here over the final six minutes of this game to stay on the court for Cape Fear. They're gonna need his defensive tenacity here down the stretch, along with his offensive playmaking. Marshall, probably gonna have to see him be a little more aggressive on the offensive end as he floats, hangs, and finishes! Khalil Marshall having one of his better offensive games here tonight. As he hangs and finishes, Marshall averaging over 10 a game. Shooting over 41% from the field on the season. Tim Robinson has to check out. For Robinson, that's his third foul. Free throw no good, but an offensive rebound by Richardson. He can't finish. Marshall unable to capitalize on the three-point play opportunity. Tipped out of bounds by Jalen Jefferson. Good defense there as Jalen Jefferson is committed on the defensive end here tonight. 5.39 to go here in the second half. Sea Devils up three, 55-52. Kawa with it. Guarded by Truman Clater, he swings it out to Karuma. Karuma, guarded by Richardson, drives, kicks it to Smith in the corner. Smith will look to drive on Jefferson, goes strong, finishes, plus the foul. Is that fouls on Avion Pinner, that's his fourth. Free throw no good. Rebound, Corey Richardson. Setting up to be a tight game down the stretch. Cape Fear up one, 55-54. Just over five minutes to go in the second half. Marshall gets a running start. Hangs, floater, no good. Rebound by Avion Pitter, and he finishes. Good cleanup there from Pinner, just his second made field goal of the game. Howell. Howell drives, goes right at Richardson. Corey Richardson called for the foul. That'll be his third. That'll send Howell to the line to shoot two. Sea Devils up three. Chance here for Howell to cut it to a one point game. First free throw is good. Cape Fear now with 17 fouls. Excuse me, six team fouls. Both free throws good from Howell. Richard Bland will be shooting one and one here for the remainder of this game. Clayter, nice pass, but Corey Richardson unable to finish.
Richardson has been cold from the field, just one of five here tonight. Jefferson almost gave up an open lane to the hoop there, gambling for the steal, but he's able to recover and Howell decides not to drive. They swing it. Nice pass into the paint to Willis Jr. and he finishes above everybody there. Size advantage for Richard Bland right now. Clater swings it, Sea Devils down one. Jefferson looks to drive. Out to Carver, Carver with it. He drives, pulls up. Better look, just unable to finish in and out for Noah Carver. Karumo bring it up, guarded by Khalil Marshall. A switch, Richardson on Karuma now. Corner, Jalen Smith swings it to the right wing, excuse me, left wing. Three on the way, no good. Offensive rebound by Howe, rejected by Marshall. All the way goes Clater. Give Marshall the assist to find Clater, streaking down the court, able to hit the layup. Cape Fear needs a stop, up one with under three minutes to go. Howell with it, gives it up to Howell. Spin move, floater, no good. Gets an offensive rebound and the putback. Timeout called by head coach Andrew Lacey. As Corey Richardson hit the deck there. Full timeout called by head coach Andrew Lacey. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. 2.43 to go in the second half. Sea Devils down one, Sea Devils basketball, 2.40 to go in the second half. Cape Fear down one. Richardson with it, drives, kicks it out to Carver. Carver for three, in and out. Rebound, Richard Bland. Cape Fear's gone cold from the field here over these last few possessions, down one. Richardson, rebound, he'll push it. Out to Tufts with the bucket. Give Richardson the assist, his sixth of the game. Richardson not scoring the basketball as much as he'd like or as well as he'd like to, but he's affecting the offense just as well. Stolen, Richardson finds Pitter, wide open, dunk for Avion Pitter. Good defensive possession there from Cape Fear. Results in a fast break bucket. Timeout is called by Cape Fear, a full timeout. We'll take a quick break. Timeout Cape Fear, minute 36 to go.
Woodland basketball. A minute 36 to go. Sea Devils up three, 63-60. A stop here will go a long way in trying to seal a victory for the Sea Devils. Powell with it, guarded by Pinner. Going right at him, kicks it out. Kawa drives, kicks it corner. Karuma for three, no good. But another offensive rebound, almost, but snatched up by Pinner. And he's fouled. Good hustle by Avion Pinner. As Tim Robinson called for the foul. Tim Robinson picks up his fourth foul. Sea Devils basketball up 63-60 as they wipe up a couple wet spots on the court. A little bit of full court zone here from the sea, excuse me, from the Statesman. Minute 13 to go, Sea Devils up three with the basketball. Marshall back to Richardson. Richardson back to Marshall. Marshall, good move, gets in the open lane, finds Pinner, and Pinner finishes. Give the assist to Khalil Marshall. Drive by Kawa. Khalil Marshall picks up his fourth foul. Fifty-six point two to go. Kawa at the line hits the first. Chance to make it a one possession lead. Excuse me, one possession deficit for Richard Bland if they hit both, and Martin Kawa does so. Timeout called. We'll stay put. Breaking the action. Timeout. Head coach Mark Lane. Full timeout. So we will take a break. We'll be right back with the final 56.2. Sea Devils basketball, full court pressure by Richard Bland. They get it in to Khalil Marshall, who turns it over, trying to find Carver. Out to Karuma for three. No good, but an offensive rebound. Shot clock has to reset. Shot clock is the official. Derek Gaudio says 18 on the shot clock. Sea Devils need a stop here. Marshall, that pass, a little ill-advised, did not see Kawa cutting it off. Kawa finds Howell. Howell 
Pull up, baseline. In and out, no good. Another offensive rebound, but a rejection by Pinner. Chased down by Carver. Clayner with the flush. Good defensive effort there as Avion Pinner gets the rejection. Too many offensive rebounds and second chance opportunities for Richard Bland as Ibrahim, excuse me, Martin Kawa goes to the line, can't make it. Tim Robinson with the rebound and he's fouled. Pinner fouls out after that foul. Sea Devils up five, 67-62, 21.7 to go. Moses Tufts checks in for Avion Pinner. Tim Robinson at the line, he'll shoot two. First free throw from Robinson, rattles in. Sea Devils up four, 67-63, 21.7 to go. Robinson at the line, he'll shoot one more. Second free throw up, no good, rebound Truman Clater. Richard Bland may have to foul here, and they do. Fourth foul on Howell. Couple more before Sea Devils are in the bonus. One more. Carver chases it down. 13. They got a foul. And a foul call. Second foul on Kawa. Sea Devils still not in the bonus. Richard Bland. Thought they probably were putting him on the line there as Marshall gets the inbound. Not sure how, not sure why Cape Fear. Still Sea Devils possession, up four. Still one more foul before Cape Fear is in the bonus. They will not be able to run the baseline here. Tufts, looks like he will inbound. No timeouts left for Cape Fear, up four. 10 seconds to go. Tufts will inbound. Marshall steals, gets that, and he'll try to dribble it out. And Marshall dribbles it almost out. Good pass there by Moses Tufts. That's Robinson, 
fifth foul on Tim Robinson. He is fouled out with 1.3 seconds to go. Rodney Willis Jr. will check in for Tim Robinson. Cape Fear a chance to pretty much ice this game. Even if Marshall misses, it'll be tough to even tie this game down four with Richard Bland. Marshall misses, and that'll do it. Cape Fear picks up a win on their final regular season home game. Sixty-seven, sixty-three, the final. And we'll take a break and give you a post-game recap as we come back here live from the Short Center, your home of the Sea Devils. And welcome back here live from the Schwartz Center. Cape Fear 67-63, the final from the Schwartz Center. Cape Fear will take their conference record to 9-7, 15-10 overall. Richard Bland will fall to 12-15 overall and 7-7 seven and seven in conference. Both teams end their regular season here tonight as Richard Bland and Cape Fear will both start to prep for the tournament, actually I take that back, Richard Bland will have two more regular season games, both on the road, they will travel to Brunswick on Sunday for a 3 p.m. tip off, then at, Ga at Gaston College on Wednesday the 6th for a 7 p.m. tip off. But Cape Fear, that'll do it for the regular season as they'll now get ready to travel for the D1 Region 10 tournament. That will be in Hickory, North Carolina this season, though Cape Fear will host here in this gym, the D2 men's tournament will start later this week. Looking at some numbers here this game to cap it off. Leading scorer for Richard Bland, Larry Howell, 18 points. Mar Martin Kawa, 15 points. Those top two for the Statesmen. On the, Cape Fear on the Cape Fear side, Khalil Marshall, heck of a game. 15 points, two assists, three steals, one block. Truman Clater. 13 points, two rebounds, and four blocks. Corey Richardson didn't score the ball too well, finished with just two points, but had seven assists and seven rebounds. So Corey Richardson doing his thing to affect this game other than just scoring the basketball. Over 15 turnovers for Richard Bland. That was kind of the story late for them. Cape Fear turned the ball over their fair share as well. 18 turnovers for Cape Fear. So the turnover battle, very similar, but it came back to bite Richard Bland when it was all said and done as they will fall 67-63. That'll do it for the regular season and that'll do it for me on the broadcast. We'll be back again next season. I'm your voice of the Sea Devils, Elijah Mize. Don't forget any updates and for those times and streams for the Region 10 tournament, you can visit GoSeaDevils.com and they will give updates on GoSeaDevils.com and you can follow along on Twitter and on Instagram at GoSeaDevils. That'll do it. Sea Devils win 67-63. Safe travels for those heading home and thanks for tuning into the broadcast. 
I'm your voice of the Sea Devils, Elijah Mize. You can follow me on Twitter at SportsGuyEli. Sea Devils on their way to the Region 10 tournament, both the men and women. Good luck to them over the next few weeks.